hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya sing if this is your first time of coming across this channel sweetheart kindly smash that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you are notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all so much and i am saying massive shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all give me here i am truly grateful thank you all so much so today we'll be talking something very important and it's about a white man who said that his ass almost got whooped by a black man and then he went further to explain why he does not uh, does not celebrate a black history and why he was saying that he also said that he does not see color that he supports black people and all that that why he doesn't celebrate black history is because he doesn't understand how black people like you know what it feels to be black and all that i know that you don't understand or you can never or you have never experienced you can never experience black people's experience because you never lived it i understand that but trying to say that you don't see color is a life from the pit of hell i don't like it when white people say they don't see color you absolutely see color you can actually say that you are supporting black people and like you know and on the stitches you are gonna hear what people like people that stitch the video said and also a white man also in that video was like the only the problem with some white people is that they don't like to educate themselves yo uh do not only wait for black history months to talk about black history or to try to understand or know what black people have gone through and all of that you can actually sit down and educate yourself every time understand how uh, how most of the impact of those slavery and all that to black people also he also made references that he also doesn't like it when white people say they don't see color because you absolutely do see color i mean this video is like one of like i absolutely love the fact that i i came across this video i'm just watching it you also will understand why this is where i'm gonna sorry i am just gonna roll this clip we'll come back to talk about it and i absolutely will read all your comments let me know what you all think in the comment section and shut up i am rolling the clip let me tell y'all a little story about how i almost got my ass whooped by a black man during black history month by the end of the conversation he was hugging me and telling me thank you for thinking the way that i think i got a call last night from a buddy of mine black buddy of mine same guy that asked me to go to the black cookout he said hey man how you doing i said good man been a long time he said i know it he said hey look i need a favor i said all right buddy what you got he said man inner city baseball league's about to start back up and because of everything going on and them having basically the whole world shut down we have had zero time to do any kind of fundraising for the for the inner city baseball league would you consider sponsoring a team i said hell yeah i'll sponsor a team i'm all about youth sports 100 percent i said i'm down like four flats he said are you really i said absolutely i said uh can you meet me at the gas station in 20 minutes i'll cut you a check he said yeah buddy i'll meet you there so i grabbed my checkbook and like a bat out of hell i headed to the gas station now i'm sitting there waiting and my buddy pulls up no recognize this car my buddy gets out and an older gentleman gets out an older black man he introduces me and it just so happens to be that that older black man is the head guy in charge for the inner city baseball league and he brought him to tell me thank you which was completely unnecessary but i really did appreciate it now the older man had seen my black cookout video and he was just jokingly asking me he said hey buddy you going to another black cookout for black history month and before I could even answer, my buddy turned to him and said, Zach doesn't celebrate Black History Month. The amount of rage that come over this man's face was absolutely, it was ungodly. But I had already had this conversation with my buddy years ago and got him to understand why I don't celebrate Black History Month. And he was thankful. The old man looked at me and he said, you don't celebrate Black History Month? I said, no, sir. He looked at me again. He said, do you care to like elaborate why? I said, absolutely. And I looked at him. I said, sir, I have absolutely no idea what it's like to walk around in America as a black man. I have absolutely no idea what it's like to be judged by the color of my skin in today's day and time. I have absolutely no idea what it is like to have a complete history of absolute hatred bestowed upon me simply because of the color of my skin. For me to celebrate Black History Month, is an insult to you. You don't celebrate a team's win if you're not on that team. What you can do as a decent person is you can honor their win. You can respect their win. And you can be happy for them that they won. For having to overcome ungodly obstacles for the simple fact of just being looked at as a normal human being and an equal. 
And he just kind of looked at me. He was kind of taken back by the whole ordeal. I told him, I said, sir, for me to sit there and tell you openly that I celebrate Black History Month is an insult to your entire race. What I can assure you is that I am in full support of it. I honor it and I respect it to the highest power. And I told him, I said, because buddy, when we all get to them pearly gates up there, the man upstairs doesn't care about color. He cares about decency. I told him, I said, do you really think if I had any kind of hate in me at all, that I would be down here cutting you a check for a league that interacts inner city black and white kids together? I would not be here. He said, no, you have a point. I said, I, that's right. I have a point for the fact that I don't see color. Just because I'm a redneck, talk with a draw and spit tobacco doesn't mean that I'm holding on to the old ways. And believe it or not, contrary to most people's popular belief, there is the majority of rednecks out there who do not think that way. There is prejustices given to rednecks the same way there is prejustices given to black men and women. He just, he's kind of taken back at this point. He kind of steps back and he's, yeah, you can tell he's thinking real hard. Like this white man is basically telling me right now that he doesn't celebrate black history month, but I can't argue with why he doesn't. He looked at me, he says, so basically you're telling me that you don't celebrate black history month because you don't have the right to. I said, you're exactly right, sir. He said, do you think there's some more of you out there? I said, buddy, I got a company called Bass, Bucks, and Birds. He said, yeah, I know about it. That's who you're writing a check from. I said, yeah, absolutely. I said, there, my, my Facebook page is predominantly rednecks because that's all I talk about is hunting, fishing, and stuff like that. He said, yeah. I said, I guarantee you if I do a fundraiser for the inner city baseball leagues to help out the children to make sure that they're able to play this year, regardless of what color they are, you will see more support than you've ever seen in your whole life. He said, do you really think that? I said, I don't just think that, sir. I know that. I am not only going to express to him the fact that I'm that way. I'm going to prove to him that the old days and the hatred that people think that they're holding on to and this, that, and the other is gone. And if you're one of them idiots that holds on to that kind of hatred, you have absolutely no business at all on my page. At all. Like I was talking about the preconceptions and stuff, just because I'm a redneck, I'm the opposite of racist. I'm well known for going to my first black cookout, which I was shown more respect there than I ever have in my life. And I will continue throughout my life to match that respect in every way, shape, and form. I told him, I said, I do honestly believe that the amount of people on my page and the amount of people that have let go of the hate and has finally accepted the fact that we are all God's children, I can get you enough support to fund this whole league. And if you're one of the people that's holding on to hate, hit that unfollow button because you got no business at all on my page. I love everybody, and that's always going to be the case. For me to celebrate Black History Month is an insult to you. Hmm. Um, but, brother, I applaud your efforts. I do. But, you know, you went on, went on to say in your video that you, you don't see color. Well, bud, you just admitted that you did. Now, I ain't coming at you foul. I understand you have a lot of support you know, over your, your views. And I looked look at several of your videos. You seem to be a down-to-earth guy. I'm from, I'm from the mountains of North Carolina. I understand rednecks to the fullest. But there has to be something that folks like yourself must understand. You have no choice but to see quote unquote color. You have no choice because we're not there yet. And again, I applaud your efforts. But for you to understand and recognize that you're not something, therefore you're not going to do X, Y, and Z with said something must, must mean that you understand something that you're seeing. You're making a choice. And I understand where you're coming from. You have no clue what it's like to do something. But that doesn't mean that you can't support it. Totally understand that. And thank you. But to say you don't see color.
brother, you have to, or you won't be making this decision. Keep up the good work, man. Realize words are powerful. Actions say a lot more than words, but words are a window to your soul. Have a good one. I have absolutely no idea what it's like to be judged by the color of my skin. In okay. Men like him, I respect. I'm not saying, you know, if you're a Caucasian person, you celebrate Black History Month, you say, you know, I want to celebrate it with y'all. Yeah. To me personally, if you want to help us celebrate it, cool. But if you don't understand why to us, first of all, every month is Black History Month. I don't give a damn. But generally, look at what we have to overcome on a daily basis. Look at what we have to go through from our great grandparents. Slaves were raped, castrated. In front of their families, their wives passed around and raped, their daughters passed around and raped, impregnated. And that's how the black men have to take that. So now that's why we're so big on, you know, having to protect our daughters. That's why I'm so big on, yo, black queens are important to us. Because you, as a man, you sitting there and you just got raped by like four different white men, and I got your wife and your daughter pinned down, getting impregnated by these same white men. You fight back, you die. You feel me? So it's like, he is making a point. You feel me? You don't know what it's like to be an African-American person. Like, a female, a male, a child, you don't know what it's like. And I appreciate the people who say, you know, I'm an ally. You know, like, I respect y'all. I pray for y'all. I'm on your side. And I don't understand, but, I, but I'm going to fight with y'all. That I respect. But when you say, oh, I don't know how it feels, you know. You don't know what it's like to have to wake up every day and be afraid to walk outside because I have a hoodie on, I might get shot. Or I lost my key. Okay. But you open that window, I might get shot. I'm going to go outside and I see a cop and I'm too aggressive per se. I might get shot. So, really understand why black people say, if you don't understand the history, don't do it. But don't take the culture if you don't understand what we went through to build the culture. And yes, there are also my people who grew up black, you know, black heritage around, you know, the hood and, and down south. I'm not, nah, that's not a problem. I was in the people where they don't know the history or don't know what it's like. And they're kind of, you know, trying to jump on our It's, it's way deeper than just Juneteenth or Black History Month. Black History Month about it. Celebrate is a strange word to use because when I think about Black History, you're referring to Black History in America when you say Black History Month. I can't say I celebrate that history of slavery, racism, which is still going on to this day. And yes, it is. Anybody who disagrees with that, this channel's not for you. It's, it's not. It's not for you. You're not going to find anything you like here. Um. If you want to respect, venerate Black History Month, take some time to learn something. Learn about black history. You don't really have to wait for a specific month to do that. But but if you forget, because there's a lot of things in this world to learn, when you hear that it's Black History Month, spend a little time doing research. Look up who the wealthiest man ever, to this day, hasn't been beat, was. You're going to find out it was a black guy. The king of Mali. By far, bar none. Bezos can't even hold a candle to this fucking guy. Wealthiest man ever. Ever. Hasn't been beat. A lot of you probably didn't know that. Do you know anything about what's going on in Africa? Do you? It's a whole continent. A lot of people there. Some of you all are under the illusions that Africa's backwards. No, it isn't. They've got highways, skyscrapers, ports, airports, just like ours. Yeah, it's a whole ass place. It, it really is. I have yet to be, I have yet to travel to Africa yet. I also haven't really been to Europe. I mean, I flew through on my way to Iraq, but one day I'll get to Africa too. I have an open invitation to Kenya. My buddy said his family will put me up while I'm down there and give me see all the sites. Did you, do you know where Kenya is? Did you know it's next to Eritrea? 
Did you know that Kenyans and Eritreans don't get along so good? They have an ongoing rivalry that dates back thousands of years, so you don't know any of this. Sadly, many people even of African American descent don't know. So maybe we could use African American, or I'm sorry, African History Month or Black History Month. Maybe we could use that as an opportunity to, one, remember the tragedies that have happened in this country. Two, remember that it's not over with yet. The racism is not gone. And we can get a constant reminder on that month in our minds to remember that racism is not gone. Because even if it doesn't affect you, it certainly is affecting young black men who are getting unalived for walking while black. We could not only remember it, but try to do something about it. Try to express our outrage to our congressmen and let them know if they don't do something about it, perhaps we'll replace them with someone who will. Same applies to pride. Same applies to... Uh, every time there's an awareness month, there's a reason why we need to be made aware, and it's because we haven't shorn up the problem yet. Oh, my world. I am so happy that I, I saw this video. You know, sometimes, like, you know, you just see a video that speaks so loud. I mean, got so much volume. This is one of it. The, all the people that stitched to this video are super awesome. They did a great job. And you know why I was watching this video? When I heard, I don't see color. I don't like to hear. I don't like people. I like uh, white people saying that. Because the truth is that you see color. Why you decided to uh, help is because you know they are black. And you see that you people are, there is difference. There, there is no how people will send me they don't see color. You are not colorblind. You see it. You know it. Right? So... I appreciate the fact that you can say that you are supporting black people or maybe you don't celebrate uh, you don't celebrate uh, black history month because of you are you, you cannot relate to what black people have been through and what it means to be black and all that but trying to tell me you don't see color you are such a liar and I am not saying you probably might say it without even knowing and all that I understand that he is trying to fight, uh, like, you know, being part of, like, you know, fighting against racism and being an ally and all that, you know. And also, I am going to say that, you know, one thing uh, white people do not really understand. They don't know anything about black people. They don't understand black history. They don't even, like, they really do not know a whole lot. But I can tell you that black people know so much about white, even black people know much more than white people, they like they know them so much more. Do you understand what I am saying? So I absolutely enjoyed all they say. Like the last man that also spoke was like, "What see? You also do not wait for Black History Month to uh to educate yourself. Yeah, you can educate yourself. You you can uh get to know more about Black history. I mean, get to understand their plights, the things they have been through, the, uh, the the horrible things they have passed through, not just been through and still going through because like all these things are still happening. Who said Jim Crow is no longer there? It is so much alive. Who said slavery is all gone? Hell no, it is all so much alive. All these things still, this right one still exist. Police brutality, is this still not happening? It is happening. Are you gonna, do you know what it feels to like, you know, send your child out to probably buy something and you are very scared or probably you left your kids at home and you went out and you are so scared because you don't know what is gonna happen and the rest of it. I remember a child, a girl child, 10 years old. She was left at home by her parents, went out, she was in the house, she did not go anywhere. And police came to their house. Baby girl was so scared. They kept screaming, shouting, they're going to shoot, they're going to do this. Eventually, out of fear, the girl opened the door. Ten years old child. Immediately, she opened the door. Boom! They handcuffed her. You already do not understand all these experiences. And you can all what did she do? Just to knock on somebody's door to get the child's tablet and they shot her from the door. Straight up, she died. You all don't experience that. Raphael, just because he knocked on the wrong house and he was boom, straight up in the head. 
I mean, you all do not wait for black people to tell you all what they have been through. I know your school is all whitewashed, but you all can sit back. I mean, sit back and try to educate yourselves. This is where I am going to draw the curtain. Thank you all so much for all the love and support. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.